A woman suffered a fractured palm after she was knocked over by a bicycle at a bus stop in Chou Chu Kong. The woman, surnamed Liang, 57, told Shin Min Daily News she alighted from her bus at the stop near Phoenix LRT station at about 7 a.m. on November 26. She had planned to board another bus which would take her to Chou Chu Kong. I just alighted and before I could stand straight, I was hit by a speeding bicycle from behind. I lost my balance and fell. Recounted the woman. The part-time cleaner tried to break her fall with her right hand, but the impact of the collision still caused her to fall onto the ground. I couldn't get up at all. Said a traumatized Leong. Some passers-by eventually helped her up, and she took a bus home after some rest. At first I thought it was nothing serious. I wanted to save on medical expenses, so I didn't go to the hospital and chose to rest at home. But the next day, I felt uncomfortable all over when I woke up. I felt a lot of pain in my waist and on my back when I turned around, and I also had some trouble breathing, said Leong, who went to a clinic that morning. The doctor at the clinic advised Leong to go to the hospital for further examination. I went to the A and after the doctor's examination I found out that I fractured my right palm and I had to wear a cast. Although the doctor asked Liang to rest until the end of the month, Liang said she removed the cast on her own on December 21st and went back to work two days later. She explained that her household expenses are very high, as she has six children, five of whom are still in school. However, she hasn't fully recovered from her injuries. Said Liang, there's still a dull pain in my right hand, I just have to avoid touching the area while working. Sometimes, I also see black spots, and some parts of my body still hurt. Besides the pain she's had to endure from the fall, Liang told Xin Min that her treatment at the hospital came up to $250, which she cannot afford to pay. This is not a small amount of money for me, I have no choice but to owe the hospital money. Liang expressed that she hopes that life will soon return to normal after she starts work. So she can pay off her medical bill as soon as possible. She added that the rider who knocked her over did not help her or offer to pay for her medical expenses. He just stood at the side looking at me. He didn't ask if I was injured at all. As she was dizzy after the fall, she forgot to ask him for his contact information and is thus unable to ask for compensation. She told Shin Min that she has made a police report. When a reporter from the Chinese Daily visited two bus stops near Phoenix LRT on Sunday, December 24 morning, at least five cyclists were spotted riding near the bus stop. Besides these cyclists, some residents shared that many food delivery riders in the area also speed. There are two shopping malls nearby, Junction 10 and Hilion Mall. Many food delivery riders pass by the bus stops every day. And some of them tend to speed to complete their orders quickly, said resident Chang Wigwang Transliteration. The 64-year-old electrician continued, I once saw someone almost getting hit by a delivery rider. It was very dangerous. To resolve the situation, some members of the public have suggested adding bicycle lanes to the area around the bus stop to prevent accidents from happening. A passerby, who wanted to be known as Ouyang, said that the bus stop is very crowded during peak hours. There are also many food delivery riders during dinner time, which worsens the crowd situation. Some of these delivery riders have to go onto the road to avoid the crowds, but that's also dangerous for them. It would be better if a bicycle lane was built to protect both riders and commuters. Another member of the public surname Lin said, the most important thing is for both riders and commuters to pay attention to their surroundings and exercise courtesy.
The authorities can also put out notices to remind everyone to be more alert.